Okay, time to do Bandit level 27 to level 28. We have a level goal that there is a git repository at uh, and then an SSH URL. Um, the password for the user Bandit 27 git is the same as for the user Bandit 27. Clone the repository and find the password for the next level. The commands you may need to solve this level are git. Okay, so what is git? Well, first of all, you know, git in its own right is a huge subject. Um, and I'm going to only just, you know, not even touch the surface of Git. I'm going to be super brief. Uh, I would really, really recommend anyone to go um, and find some of the great resources that are out there um, on Git. Uh, I used a Udemy course, and I and I found that that was really, really helpful and got me uh, to learn enough of the basics that I could sort of use it um, reasonably comfortably at a basic level. But okay, so just for anyone who doesn't know, Git is like a distributed version control system. And what that means is essentially it allows us to uh, have these things called Git repositories, which is like a, a working directory where we can, we can for like a pro for like our projects, like or like groups of files, where it tracks any changes, like any versions of those files that we have. So in essence, Imagine like creating a project, like a software project. You've got several different files, um, and you say, "Okay, this is going to be version one." And so you can tell Git that this is version one, and then you can carry on working. And maybe you you work a little bit more, and you set, you make some changes to different files and add some new ones in. You then say, "Okay, this is going to be version one point one or something." But then at some point you say, "Oh, I need to look back at version one." you know if you were doing this like by yourself just saving random things it, it would get very cumbersome but git allows us to just like move back to the, what version 1 looked like and then move back to version 1.1 1 .1 or, or branch off into a completely different direction um, very easily uh, it also allows us other people to work on our on our projects too using um, platforms like github so this exercise is all about sort of downloading a git repository onto the machine that we're currently on and just having a look at seeing what files are there basically and what's being tracked. Um, so we're going to use git clone in this exercise. Now we're on bandit 27 and the way we have to to clone or download this um, repository, well, it's going to write changes to the um, to the machine first. First of all, right. So we need somewhere where we can write changes. Um, that's going to be in a temp folder. So let's make a um, temp folder. Um, I'm just going to call it temp dean. Oh, it already exists. So let's just call it dean two, and we're going to cd into that. Okay, so now we're into my little uh, private sort of directory. Now we need to download this this repository onto the machine. How do we do that? With with git, um, the git command, and specifically the git clone command. So all we need to do for this, but bef actually before I do that, as you can see, it says the password for the user bandit twenty seven hyphen git is the same for the user bandit twenty seven. Well, I've got the password currently on my clipboard but as soon as I copy this I'm obviously going to lose that so I'm just going to echo this password into uh, pass.txt right so now it's now it's in our directory okay so now we're going to bring this uh, repository onto the machine so we use git clone and the URL it gives us which in this case is an SSH URL um, it could be a HTTP URL. You know, Git can Git can be used on both of those protocols. Um, but all we have to do is just pop our URL there. Hit enter. Um, yes. And now it wants Git Bandit twenty seven hyphen Git password, which actually, you know, I didn't even need to echo it really. I don't know why I did that. It's just here. So, pop that in, and you can see, look, it's downloaded some stuff. It's brought three 
um, objects into this git repository. So if we ls, we've now got this repo, as it's called here, repo. Um, oh. So let's just look inside it. We're inside the git repository, and there's a readme file. So let's just read the readme file. And there's the password. So this one's a nice, simple one. Um, let's just do that on one line. So this one's a nice, nice, easy exercise, right? It's just in the, the current version of the set of files in that repository. It's just already there. We don't have to change versions or anything like this. Um, OK, I, I strongly recommend anyone who doesn't know anything about Git to go and have a look um, and research a little bit. And uh, yeah, if not, I'll try and be very brief and go over these things. But it's going to be super, super brief. Anyway, so that's the password for the next one. And I'll see you there.